Today I'm going to be sharing with you my top 5 concealers of all time and this doesn't change very often, I'm very loyal to my concealers, some of these I've had for absolutely ages and another thing you will notice as well is that I tend to go for high-end concealers instead of drugstore or high street concealers just because for base products, foundation, concealers and powders I always prefer higher end. N nothing specific about it, it's just my preference and how I think it looks on my skin. I think it's got something to do with the shade range and the undertones. High-end concealers tend to offer a much broader shade range and undertone range, so because I've got neutral undertones on my skin, I find it harder to find drugstore or high street, high street concealers that have a neutral undertone. So I'm going to be showing you these concealers. They're not necessarily in order that in the order that I like them the most, uh, but they will be in a certain order and if you've watched my videos before or have read my blog posts before you will recognize the ones that I like the most. So I'm going to start with the only drugstore one which I would probably put at the bottom of the pile. It was sort of like a challenge for me to find the number five because I had four concealers that I was sure that I loved but I didn't, I couldn't really find a fifth concealer that I thought was amazing so I went for this one. It's the Garnier Roll-On Anti-Dark Circles Concealer and I've had this for a really really long time. I've repurchased it a couple of times and what I like about this concealer is that it not only gives me coverage but it also hydrates the under eye area quite well and I can also use this on my blemishes. Um, it's really cooling and refreshing. Um, it's not too slippy but it's not as long lasting as um, some of my other concealers that I'll show you later. The shade range is absolutely appalling and I think there's only three shades to choose from, a light, a medium and a dark or something like that. This shade that I have is, it doesn't even say here, I think this is a medium shade and as you can see it's quite pink toned so if you've got yellow undertones you'll find this a little bit too pink toned I think but I find it works really well under my eyes it really does brighten up that area and um, yeah I just really like it another thing that I should mention before I carry on is that I have dry skin so I'll be recommending concealers that work really well on my skin based on the fact that my skin is dry so if you've got oily skin or combination skin maybe these recommendations won't be as accurate for you but if you've got dry skin then you might want to keep watching the second concealer I would recommend is the MAC Prep and Prime Highlighter in Light Boost and this might not be technically a concealer but I think most people use this as a concealer under the eyes and that's how I use this and this is absolutely brilliant for giving me that highlighted look under the eyes, just brightens up my whole face and I use this as a last step instead of as a first step. Usually I have to apply a concealer first, a proper concealer to conceal dark circles and then after my whole makeup is done I just go over very quickly one or two swipes of this and blend it and it just makes everything look really flawless and really perfect. It's one of those twist up that dispenses the product like that and I'm going to swatch it here for you to see. I'm going to put it next to the Garnier concealer so you can see this is the Garnier one and this is the MAC one and you can see how this would be a lot more highlighting and brightening underneath the eyes. It is considerably lighter than my skin tone but that's what gives the highlighting effect and if you've got medium skin tone like me um, or medium light skin tone this will be um, a good shade for you. The shade is called Light Boost and there are a few other shades in the range that you can choose from, a few darker ones but I think this is the lightest one, I'm not sure. Uh, but I absolutely love this, um, more as a brightening concealer than, it, than as a uh, concealing concealer. I don't use this on blemishes because that's not the purpose that I bought it for, I only use it on the under eye area. The third concealer I'd recommend is the Giorgio Armani Maestro Eraser Dark Circle Concealer and I got this concealer because I wanted something that I could use all over my face I actually purchased this just before Christmas last year because um, I was getting a lot of spots on my face. I don't know why, probably pregnancy related, but I was getting quite a few spots and dark uh, marks on my face. So I just wanted something that was the shade of my face and that was moisturising enough to apply on blemishes. Um, and then I ended up getting this concealer and I really like it. 
it is quite runny so it's more of a thin consistency compared to the other concealers that I've shown shown you so far and um, yeah you can see there it's a lot more liquidy than the the MAC one and then the Garnier one it is quite slippy as well so it's good for blemishes and for certain areas of your face where you've got scars because you don't want it caking up you don't want it looking like it's you know in enhancing these areas I like using it around my nose where I've got redness and this hides the redness without highlighting that this area of my face is really dry so I really like this as a blemishes concealer but I do use this underneath the eye as well it does hide my dark circles it doesn't highlight because the shade that I have is not a highlighting shade it is pretty much the shade um, the colour of my face so it just evens out the skin um, but I really do like it I like the texture it is slightly more expensive than um, your average concealer but like I mentioned before I tend to go for higher end concealers and the shade that I've got here is shade number four the fourth concealer I will recommend is one that you will have heard me talk about over and over and over again and it's the MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer I have two shades of this here I've got shade uh, NW20 and I've got shade NC25 and this concealer is absolutely brilliant it has seen me through thick and thin and it was my wedding day concealer I've used it for so so long and I it's a concealer that I know I can rely on for anything and everything for a more natural everyday makeup for very full coverage makeup for evenings events it's just a very reliable dependable concealer <clears throat> sorry dependable concealer and it gives me full coverage if I need it and it gives me less coverage if I need it as well um, I have two shades for the same reason I like something lighter underneath my eyes and I like something that matches my face for blemishes and things but I've got to admit that I don't use the shade NC25 all that much I just don't find it as versatile versatile and if I'm going away somewhere um, I'll generally just put this one in my makeup bag and make do with it. It is a little bit lighter than my skin tone, but when it's blended with everything else, um, you don't really see. My only problem with this concealer is the packaging, because the pump dispenses too much product, and it's really hard to sort of control not wasting product, um, which is such a shame because it is an amazing, amazing concealer. And that's it over there, the last one. And as you can see, the, the shade is more similar to the Light Boost MAC Concealer, which is why I like it underneath the eyes. It really highlights my under eye area. It's not an industrial concealer in that it's really thick like a paste. It starts quite liquidy, but it does set very quickly. So you have to make sure you blend it really quickly. Otherwise, it sets and it you'll find it very difficult to blend. I also like to use this to prime my eyelids before eyeshadow as well, because it's sort of mattifies the area and um, yeah just makes the eyeshadows last a little bit longer so up until very recently the macro longwear concealer would have been my all-time favorite concealer but I have just discovered a better concealer than the macro longwear concealer and it's the one that I'm gonna recommend now in first place it's the NARS creamy uh, radiant creamy concealer and this is such a famous concealer lots of bloggers talk about this concealer and uh, I've wanted to try it for so long but just never thought that I would like it more than the MAC one. This concealer is the best concealer that I have ever tried in my life, especially on my dry skin. It is like the MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer for everything in terms of being really long lasting, um, really full coverage if you need it to be, nice on the daytime as well, uh, reliable, uh, dependable but it's not as drying as the MAC one. It is really nice and moisturizing and just the consistency of it is a dream to blend and apply. And this is the color that I've got here. It is a little bit more yellow toned than the MAC one, the Prolonged Wear Concealer. But as you can see, they are very similar and the consistency, it blends so beautifully it doesn't cling to any of my dry patches, it stays on, put, it doesn't crease under my eyes, it just covers everything and this shade I can use 
um, on, underneath my eyes and I can also use it on my blemishes, on my redness. It's a really versatile shade. Um, I've got medium custard. That's the shade. And I'd like to get one shade lighter just because of my obsession with highlighting underneath the eyes. I find that this gives me brightening, but if I want, like, for, for an evening look, sometimes I want a more highlighted look. So I'm tempted to get a shade lighter than this just for highlighting underneath the eyes. But I absolutely love this concealer. I couldn't recommend it enough. I know that NARS is not cheap, and if you're on a budget, you're probably... A little bit dubious whether or not you should but if you're wondering whether it's worth the investment in my opinion it is totally totally worth the investment um, I would have recommended the MAC Pro Longwear concealer before getting this concealer but now this has replaced this takes place over any other concealers that I've tried I have it on my face today I have it underneath my eyes I don't know if you can see properly um, around my nose and on certain blemishes and it, it's just brilliant it hides everything that I need hidden and it's amazing. I also have some other new makeup products on my face today that I'm really excited to talk to you about but that will be subject for, to, for another video but I'll just give you a little preview. I've got this by Terry Terribly Danceless foundation on my face today and oh my god this foundation is just amazing absolutely incredible and I'll be raving about it I'm sure very soon here on my channel and also there will be a review on my blog with photos and things like that but I'm very happy with my makeup today everything that I put on my face seemed to look really nice I like my eyeshadow I like the way that I did my eyes I used the Smashbox full exposure palette mixed with um, just got such a mess of makeup here Let's see if I can find the by Terry ombre black star in bronze moon which is also another new purchase so really happy with my makeup just thought i'd let you know that um yeah so that's the end of it these are the five concealers that i recommend i don't have prices for all of them but i'll make sure to put prices on the down bar below along with links where you can find them and also reviews that i've done so yeah these are the five concealers that i would recommend i'm sorry that there was only one high street concealer the Garnier one and the rest were um, high-end. I hope you guys enjoyed this video this was really highly requested and I finally got around to doing it. Excuse me being really out of breath throughout the whole of this video I'm nearly on my seventh month of pregnancy and it's taking its toll on my body now. If you enjoyed the video make sure to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you on my next video. Bye! Today's video is going to be a February hits and misses and this will be a version of February favourites so if you're used to watching that kind of video then this will be very similar.